What up, y'all? Welcome back. Kid Cabbage, thank you for the resub, buddy. I appreciate you, my dude. We are going to jump into this Supreme Innistrad draft. It is Supreme. What does Havengal Runebinder do? Exile a creature from your graveyard, create a 2-2 black zombie. Then put a 1-1 one -one counter on each zombie you control. That's actually pretty That's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. <clears throat> Death's Caress. What is Havengal Lich and Death's Caress? That's pretty good, right? Scorn Villager is also real nice in this format. Just being able to ramp to the higher cost spells is decent. Uh, uh, Strangaroot Geist is Dece. I think it's just Death Caress and Lich Binder. Rune Binder. This guy just makes dudes. Yeah, we're taking the Caress and the, and the Rune Binder. <coughs> Arlen Cord and Silver, Silver Fur Partisan? That puts us in a completely different direction. So this is a 2-2 two, two for 3 with Trample. Whenever a wolf or werewolf you control becomes the target of an instant, instant sorcery spell, create a 2-2. Two, two. Um, this counts for any any target. Uh, so you can pump your own guy and still get that. Alright, well we're taking Arlen Cord for sure. Probably taking Silver for Partisan. I mean, like if you look at the blue and black cards, we have Vessel... Scob and Ghostly Wings. So we have two different deck. Casting Cage Breakers. C -c -c cage I'm gonna lock this chair so I can lean back without it falling backwards. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, we're definitely taking Cage Breakers. I'm also going to put these in the sideboard for now because uh, this seems like a, a better plan. Geist Flame is interesting because you can shoot your Partisan for one and make a 2-2. Two -two. <clears throat> I wonder how many Curse of the Pierced Hearts we can get. How many Innistrad packs do we have here? One, two, three, four more? Hmm. <clears throat> Interesting. Cultist, second creature, it deals two damage to any target. Not terrible. <coughs> 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 I mean, for a 4-mana 2-2, two, two, I'd much rather have a guy that makes creatures than deals 2, but... Spider Grass, not terrible. Geist Flame is okay. I'll take the Cultist. <gasps> tireless Tracker. Oh, wow. Our deck's looking sweet already. I'm taking this Tireless Tracker without even... Without even looking. That's... G g great. Uh, Encourageable Youths... Might be on reason is put two counters on a thing and then put three counters if you have delirium. <clears throat> um, I don't hate 4-3 with, with haste. And if we do have a madness outlet, it's pretty decent. Senseless rage could be okay just because it targets our sliver for partisan, but it's not instant or sorcery, so never mind. That's not correct. Spiteful motives is actually pretty decent. Uh, you could play this at instant speed, flash it onto your guy, and then just, it's kind of like a blowout at that point. <coughs> um, it's definitely one of these two. I think I'm just going to take the youths. Because I think the upside of being able to, uh, to madness it is pretty good. Okay, this pack is unexciting. <clears throat> See, it's harder when you have to take two cards. If you only had to take one card here, I'd be like, okay, I'll just take Heckling Fiends, I guess. <clears throat> Force other creatures to attack. But, like, once you have to take a second card, it's like, oh, well. My options aren't great. And I'm still going to take Evolving Wilds because I think fixing is nice. I'll take Heckling Fiends. That's fine. It's not exciting, but it's whatever. Grim Flare. <clears throat> Interesting. Also, Bruna is pretty insane. Returning an angel or human is pretty great. This is a 2-1 that turns into a 4-4 four -four that can't be blocked by more than one dude. I could see taking... What is a uh, Stenzia Innkeeper? 3-3 three, three for 4. Tap a land at opponent controls. It doesn't untap. Eh, it's kind of meh. I don't know if Grim Slayer is all that impressive. Um, 
I might just take these two and just stay on course. Okay, well, I guess that's a that's an option. Um, other humans get plus one, plus one. Who would hit Tireless, Kessig? It's not terrible, but it's still, it's a, still a solid 2-2 two, two for two. Olivia mobilized for war. Jeez. The Black Splash is just looking better and better. Pack Guardian is sweet. It's a 4-3. When it uh, enters the battlefield, you may discard a land if you do create a 2-2. Two, two. So it's a 4-3 with Flash. That makes a 2-2. Two, two. <coughs> I'm tempted to just take the Olivia here. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may discard a card if you do put a 1-1 counter on that creature. It gains haste and it becomes a vampire in addition to its other types. So it's a pretty solid mana sound. And she's also just a 3-3 flyer for for 3. I'm definitely taking Pack Guardian here. I mean, this is a 2-1 a that becomes a 4-2 with Trample. It's not super exciting. Olivia, we do have Evolving Wilds. I'm going to take the Olivia. I think the upside on the Olivia is better than the, the Hinterland guy. Increasing yeah, ambition. Oh, okay. Yo, getting that stream raids, raiders. We need them raidy peoples. <laughs> Solid. <laughs> Solid endorsement card. Uh, search the library for a card and put that card in your hand. If this spell is cast from a graveyard, search the library for two cards. Yeah, it's not bad. Avacyn's Collar. Uh, plus one, plus one vigilance. Whenever a creature dies, if it's a human, create a 1-1. One, one. It's not bad. <clears throat> And it's a 1-1 one, one flyer, just to be clear. Uh, I like Dawn Shredder Elk if we are going to be playing the um, the Olivia. Draw a card for each creature in your graveyard for 6 mana. It's not super exciting. Uh, near Hearth Stalker... Near Heath Stalker is not super exciting either for 5. I think it's just Avacyn's Collar, to be honest. Mines Dilation. Whenever an opponent casts their first spell... That player excels the top card of their library. If it's a non-land card, you may cast it without paying its mana cost. <clears throat> oh, boy. Uh, we're definitely taking Incendiary Flow. Could, be, could just take Terrarion as well. It of the Horrid Swarm is not terrible. Which is a 4-4 four four that makes two 1-1s. One you could sack something irrelevant. The problem is we don't have a ton of irrelevant creatures. The blue-green deck is more of the Emerge deck. Uh, target creature against plus two, plus two against Trample. Distemper's not terrible. We're just going to take Galvanic Bombardment. Let's just take some removal. <coughs> oh, some elf. What's up, buddy? Next month, it's time for sub drinks. Let's try and do it on Mike's birthday. Okay. Mm, okay. Uh, Foul Orchard seems great here. Um... Helps us splash the Olivia, which we can put in our deck now. Now we have uh, Dawn Shredder Elk, Foul Orchard, and Evolving Wilds for one black. Uh, Cryptolith Rite is fine. It's not super exciting. And for splashing Black Murderous Compulsion might be the pick. Neglected Heirloom is fine. I don't know how many flip cards we have right now. Um, looks like one in Kessig Prowler. <clears throat> so not super great. I'll just take Murderous Compulsion. We also have a Death's Caress. Uh, look, another Curse of the Pierce Heart. We could have had two right now. Dang. <clears throat> what are we taking here? Uh, might just be, might still be Curse of the Pierce Heart and Geist Flame. Badger, what up, my dude? Um, where are the top four cards? Put all land cards revealed this way into your hand and the rest into your graveyard. How many packs do we have left? This is 11. We still have three Innistrads. <clears throat> let's take the curse. Let's see what happens. Uh, no, I have not voted. I'm still waiting on my, I'm still waiting on my ballot. Uh, Geist Flame. Yeah, I think Geist Flames. Actually, Rolling Templar might be better. A Rolling Templar is nice because, like, a lot of our guys can dodge it, but if they have, like, a bunch of zombies or, or something, like, it's it's pretty decent. Yeah, still, yeah. I mean, they just sent it, like, two days ago, so. 
I mean, <laughs> they're not they're, they're not sending them priority or express. So, yeah, I literally got my my email. You should receive your ballot in the next five to seven business days, and that was on Thursday. So, it's gonna take a week. <clears throat> Well, I wouldn't say this is a result of it being a mess. This is just because I did it two days ago, so they're getting it. <laughs> I mean, it's just a normal amount of time to wait. Um, deals one damage to any target, create a 1-1 one, one devil. Yeah, it's, it's just kind of meh. This is a 3-3-3-3 three, 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 when it, you, like you can ex, like you can play from exile, but like... Eh. This pack's pretty meh. I might just cast it, take it to the Horde Swarm and, like, Terraria? Maybe Terrarian seems fine, I guess. <clears throat> I feel like when you're opening so many packs, like, so many brand new packs, and you get to take two cards from each one, um... This pack's pretty mad. I'll take it out of the Horde Swarm. Moon, dro moon dro moon Mondronin Shaman. At the beginning of each upkeep, no spells. Flip it. It's a 3 2 for 4. Whenever an opponent casts a spell, this deals 2 damage to that player. It's a 5 5. That actually seems just fine. Uh, I kind of like Strangaroo Geist here. Any township is interesting. Yeah, Deadweight seems good. Somerald Spider's fine. It enters with two counters, so it is a four six if you if you are able to morbid it. Eh, this card's kind of meh. <laughs> I mean if they have like two creatures, it's a five five. But what are the odds like? Their two creatures are gonna be bigger than five five total. It's pretty high. Like two three threes just kill it. I think it's actually Deadweight and Spider. Yeah, that seems fine. Creeping Renaissance. Choose a permanent. Return all cards of the chosen type from a graveyard to your hand, and you can flash it back. Naming creature is pretty good there. Grizzled Outcast is a 4-4, then turns into a 7-7. Seven, seven is pretty decent. Um, Dark Thicket Wolf is actually great and very, very hard to deal with. We're going to take a Dark Thicket Wolf for sure. That card was pretty great in original Innistrad. <clears throat> Um, Prey Upon, also just fine. Do I want the Creeping Renaissance? I mean, Creeping Renaissance just naming creature and drawing like three cards in the late game is actually pretty decent, and you can flash it back. I'll take the Creeping Renaissance. I think the upside is just way higher. Um, I like Moon Mist, but I don't think it's great here because we only have like three wolves. This guy is not a werewolf. Uh, we have Pack Guardian, Mondran, and Shaman. Whatever Arlen Cord makes, Partisan. Dark Thicket Wolf and Kessig Prowler. It looks like. <clears throat> Definitely taking Geist Catcher's Rig. This card's great. Um, 
I don't think it's a second Hamlet captain. Yeah, Rune Chainer Spike is good in some decks. <clears throat> Agreed with that. I think it might just be Moon Mist here. I don't think there's a better card in the pack. Is the problem? Oh, Tangled Werewolf. Two four can block an additional creature. Turns into a four six. Must be blocked, and it can still block an additional creature and a Vigilance. That's pretty good, especially because it flips with our Moon Mist. <clears throat> Is Crypt Breaker any good for us? I don't think so. Nah. Um, yeah, we're just going to take Tangle Claw Werewolf. And... It might be just Certain Death. Just a solid removal spell. It's a little expensive, but I mean, nothing else in this pack is super compelling. Put five 1-1 one, one counters on a creature. Put ten counters when you flash it back. That's actually pretty good. <clears throat> In truth, I might just take Scorn Villager, though. Actually, I guess I, I guess I get to take both, right? That's pretty decent. That's also a sorcery, so it will trigger our Partisan if we're hitting a Wolf or a Werewolf. Markov Warlord... Tab up to two creatures, or up to two creatures, you can't block this turn, so basically the same thing. Definitely taking Villager here. Fires of Undeath is actually pretty decent as well. I don't really care about Heckling Fiends. Yes, yes. Also, Scourge that Cultist is decent, we have a bunch of token makers, like Keswick Cage Breakers, Arlen Cord, or Silver Fur Partisan. <clears throat> So it's definitely this or this. These are the questions. It might just be fires here. Five counters is five counters is pretty good if they don't have like removal for it though. Problem is not a lot of my guys have trample or evasion. That's that's the thing I'm considering right now. Yeah, I'm just gonna take fires. I think it's just a I think it's just a more stable card for us to play. Uh, we can also play either of these two removal spells as well. Or this one. <clears throat> I think all of these are fine. You're good. You're fine. We only have 22 guys on the board right now in Stream Raiders, so definitely put more guys. Hit more guys. It's a moderate, moderate difficulty, guys. This is 23. I think it's a fine 23. I don't know how much more I want to splash for, <clears throat> for black, but it also lets us cast fires, which is nice. What's happening right now? Okay. <clears throat> I have to wait to play some unit. That's true. You do have to wait. There is a... Is Moon Mist just good in our deck? Let's see. We have Mondran and Shaman, Arlen Cord. Oh, see, here's the thing. It doesn't actually flip the, um, the Eldrazi Wolves, because the Eldrazi Wolves are not humans. They are actually just... And I don't know why I, I don't know why I put Arlen Cord over there, either. Um, so, like, we literally have, like, two things that would flip. It's not... No, that's not very good. Creeping Renaissance is like draw three, maybe? With 17 creatures in our deck? <clears throat> maybe Hamlet Captain actually isn't that great. Let's see, how many humans do we have? One... Two, three, if you want the front side. Who says who says Renaissance? Who says that? Uh human. Human. 
So like five humans, and he doesn't hit. He doesn't hit himself. So <clears throat> everyone except Americans. I don't know about all that. Sort by convert my cost. Thank you. Combine the groups. Oh, to know what up, my dude. Thank you for the resub. Man, that is a funny message. Good call, buddy. Good call. Um, yeah, I think this is fine. It doesn't it doesn't stress our splash too much. <clears throat> so we have wait, we we have Dawn Treader Elk, these two, and one swamp. Do we even need Terrarion? Or can we just play something better? Hmm. I mean I hate to like not play a better removal spell. But it also did not have the black mana we need. So I don't know. We'll just play it like this. What kind of mic do you if you don't mind me, I do mind. I I'm very I'm very insulted. Uh it's a sure SM seven B. Um We have two double red cards. Why are you suggesting such eight? Nine, ten, six, seven, eight, six, seven. <coughs> seven, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. This is a seven, eight, nine. It's nine, eight. I think that's fine. We do want double green, but we also want double blue or double red. Do, 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 do. I'm loving it. Uh, yeah, I'll keep the sand. Got all the colors. Can you paint with me? The best part of Silver for a Partisan, or one of the best parts, is that uh, as long as you tar, if as long as they target it with anything to kill it, usually it's gonna make a two-two for you. So, oh, that's pretty good. So now we can go Silver for a Partisan into Tracker, play a land into cage breakers and like this is like three rares in our hand i mean like we complained about some some luck the other day but i mean this is pretty good in terms of like <clears throat> you know cow's milk is more hydrating than water Inter that's interesting you kind of think like nothing is more hydrating than water because water is like the pinnacle of uh of life and liquid hydration, but that's interesting. <clears throat> oh, alright, that's pretty good. Um, I still think we're probably going to tireless tracker and make maximum, maximum clues. Not going to attack here, though, because, you know, our guy's a 2-2, two -two, so... Oh, Falconrath, Aristocrat. Nope, Noble. <clears throat> hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, definitely attacking. If they want to double block, we can kill both of them, so... This guy didn't have reach? Dang. Wow, really? Hmm. This is like a four for one here. Yeah, I mean, that's fine with me. I mean, how many clues were we really going to get off that guy? Second fact of the day. Bees sometimes hold each other's legs while they sleep, possibly to stop each other from falling over. <laughs> These are amazing. That's incredible. Hmm... Ooh, 
Last fact of the day, a galactic year is the time it takes the sun to orbit the center of the Milky Way. About 230 million years. Using that time scale, the mass extinction event, which killed off the dinosaurs, happened just over three months ago. <laughs> yeah, that checks out. <clears throat> hmm. Well, they got a four. Four five is actually pretty big here. I want to play this guy. He becomes a 4-6. And we'll crack this and get a Landorino. <coughs> oh, you're doing something fancy? You got it. That is fancy. So fancy. If only incendiary flow was an, an instant. Nah? 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 Nah, it ain't. They finally cracked their Terrarion. They're gonna get a white so they can play travel preparations. Oh, wow. Am I predicting the future? Oh, there's blue, too. Wow, this is a... It's quite a motley... Oh, a second Falconrath Noble. Okay. The future has not been predicted. Let's crack this guy and get, uh, what do we got? So we got four green, three red. Let's just get another green. <clears throat> hmm, no way to discard that guy right now. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can five, six, seven... This guy just kind of uh, changes games. So, I'm going to keep this guy. If we draw like Olivia, it's going to be nice to be able to discard that and still cast it. Well, like, we still have a thing to do and we can flip this guy. So, And if we're not attacking with the haste guy, I really don't see a, a point to, to playing it here. Mulch. <clears throat> Oh, Inexorable Blob is gone, which is super nice, because you have four card types. Bone Flinger is gone. And, wow, all three of those were great. Jeez. This is Werewolf Supreme, yeah. Not to be confused with the Taco Bell menu item, Werewolf Supreme. Dawn Treader Elk. You don't do anything. Four, five, six, seven. We can play Dawn Treader Elk and still flip this guy. Ding, 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 ding. So they can just block with 4, 5, and 2, 2 on this guy, which is pretty bad. <clears throat> but now we're just going to flip it, so. And we're getting to a point where, like, our Kessel Cage Breakers is going to actually have a, a decent graveyard to, to pull from. All right, now I'll land. Okay. The problem is, okay, you just don't have great trades here. Their four five is actually doing really, really well. <laughs> Standard PTSD. Oh god. But then again, if we, like if we attack with everything except for like cage breakers and silver for partisan, nah, it just looks like we're in a position to like really do that. Jesus. Always with the new scraft mobs. Increasing confusion. What? For zero? Why wouldn't you wait a turn to play that? That's very weird. Like, if you waited the next turn, next turn you can do me six. 
which would put me to 14. And then the next turn, if you hit another land, you could, like, do me a million. That's kind of weird. <clears throat> Cost oh wow, that's actually pretty good. That actually might kill us. Yeah, that's not good at all. It is a sorcery though. So they have one, two, three, they have seven, so they can deal they can mills for fourteen. That's a yikes for me, dog. Alright. Wow, I feel like we're doing really well too. He said, unfortunately. Um, we're going to play this guy. And then we're going to sack this to kill the new scrap mob. Is this correct? This feels really bad with this bunch of stupid zombies. Eh, we can just wait. <laughs> just like not... Just not thrilled about our position here. I mean, they just go 4-5 four, on 4-4. Four, 4-3 four. Four, on 4-3. Four, and then just block this guy with three 2-2s. Two, eh. Sure. That seems fine. Okay, so they probably just kill us next turn, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's 16 cards. If they hit a land, it's actually 18 cards, and that's Xaxes. Okay. Hmm. <coughs> Well, maybe they don't have a land, and we get one more turn, and Arlen Cord can help us save the day. <coughs> what do you think the odds are of that? They could also just take a million, but I guess we have... Yep, that's what we thought. Yep, three on here. This is pretty much how we planned it. And then that guy. And that's like those are the exact blocks we 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 thought they'd do. So. And land. Yep, four, eight, nine. So they mill us for eighteen, and then we die. Man, increasing confusion is a cool fucking card in limited. Splashed. Must be nice. Yep. Cool. <laughs> wow, creeping. Yeah, fucking amazing. Oh boy, and that's frustrating. <clears throat> All right, so we are bringing like certain death for their fat idiot. Take out Terraria. I mean, how many mana issues? Or leave in Terraria. I played two drafts last night, went 3-0 with humans, and then 1-2 with demons. Still had fun. Hey, what's up, Sammy? Thank you for the bits, buddy. Congrats, my dude. Good job, Sammy. <laughs> Love it. I'm going to keep this. Um, <clears throat> I'm just going to crack this for a green here. Because I think the pressure of Strangle Root and Tireless Tracker into Arlen Cord is pretty good. It's, it's extremely frustrating just losing by increasing confusion for 19 cards. Like... What an eye roll game. Like. Sammy, I appreciate you, buddy.
It's untrue that most women want to get married. I've asked loads and they've all said no. <laughs> That's another fact of the day, guys. Inexorable Blob. Whenever it attacks, if there are four more card types, create a 3-3. Three, three. Sure. It's very good, but you're not super close to... Yep. All right. <sighs> land would have been super cool, but that's okay. We don't need lands to win games. First, first, first round, the first thing you want to do is get utterly blown out by increasing confusion and then the next game what you want to do is miss your fourth land drop that's uh that's the strategies that we're trying to implore here A black and a green. Alright, two cards. That's actually going to give them ex an exorable blob mana, I bet. Or, uh, that's, that's actually pretty good. Yep. <clears throat> I mean, we're definitely just blocking the blob. Hashtag block the blob. Five card types. You got it. Really? Hey, it's a land. What do you know? Hey, it's a clue. What do you know? They don't have a ton of pressure on the board, so we're just going to play this. We're going to give this guy <clears throat> a little bit of an edge here. And then we're going to attack with both. <coughs> we should have actually... I For some reason, I thought this guy still had Vigilance because of the uh, collar, but it fell off, and that was just my bad. I wanted two Vigilance creatures, but now we just have the one. But Arlen Cord still survives, even if they kill our tireless tracker which they are doesn't seem like a hard choice I don't know why that took a long as it did but okay <laughs> oh my god Oh my god. <clears throat> hmm. So. So we can actually, plus this guy, they kind of have to block, and then we can just play Spider. Ooh, that's pretty good. Because this is lethal. They're already at five? That's very good. <clears throat> and now we have two blockers and an Arlen cord. It's not bad. If you rearrange letters of mailmen, you get them very angry. <laughs> yeah, that checks out. And let's go to game three. No? You want to go game three? Okay. Falcon Wrath Noble. Okay. And a s doomed villager. Scorned villager. It looks like doomed. Even though I should know the name. Cards, I already played the card. It's in my deck. It's... 
Three, four, five, six. Just give trample. No, just vigilance and haste. Okay. I mean, we definitely pump here. Playing corrigible use. Uh, we're one shy of being able to equip this as well, unfortunately. Could also make a wolf. Nobody has trample, unfortunately. This gives vigilance. It's not great. So my concern is this, but we can also just Avison's Avison's collar here and plus here, and then they both have vigilance. Or Avison's collar here and plus here, and then they both have vigilance, and then like they're, they're both lethal as well, so they both have to be blocked. I think we're gonna do that. Okay, I like that. So, Avison's color on this guy, making him five. Plus here. And both lethal now. <clears throat> I feel like they're gonna block with both. Yeah, for sure. Oh, oh no! What? You're dead if you do this. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, what? That's sure. Okay. So you go to nine, but you have no board, and we get a planeswalker, a five six, and a Kessig prowler. That seems good. This guy seems good. One, two, three, four, five. Farbog flinger number two. Yep. Now we're making a wolf here. <clears throat> Easy flip. Solid opportunity. Plus one, plus one, and trample all of our dudes. Oh, this game's over. All right, cool. Arlen Cord, pretty decent and limited. Um, Rolling Tumbler actually doesn't kill our Falconrath Nobles, which you know they have two of. Dead weight actually could be decent here. So we're playing three black cards with four black sources. It still seems fine. Oh, uh, yeah, this hand seems great. <clears throat> Can easily get a second green Strangaroo Geist. And now we have everything we need. We can discard Pack Guardian, or discard a, a land of Pack Guardian, and, and then the name lands for Creeping Renaissance and get get two lands back. Oh, what up, Marbler? Oh, a blob again. I see. Well, well, well. Would have loved a, a card there, a card to play, but uh, it was not meant to be.
Yep, I'll take three here. <clears throat> I love your content. You're really funny. I appreciate that. Oh, good. Moan of the Unhallowed. A fine card, if there ever was one. I think it's Pack Guardian here. I think we can skip out on one tireless tracker trigger. I am going to pass here. I don't think we're on the beat down here. The Guardian of the Pack. Alright, let's see what our preferable blocks here are. Block us. Kill the Blob. That seems fine. We trade half a Stranger Geist. And we get to keep a 4-3. Yeah, that seems a lot better. Oh, 1-2, huh? Well, that's not going to do it. <clears throat> oh, an Arlen Cord, huh? Oh, boy. Well, thank you. What is happening? Badger gifting 20 subs? <laughs> Good grief, man. Oh my god. Badger's like, you know, a thousand's not really enough. I'm gonna have to do. Let's do uh 20 more. Buddy, I oh my god, you're ridiculous, man. Badger, I love you, buddy. You are out of control, and I appreciate you. Thank you. Good lord. So the problem with Arlen Court is if we if we zero make a wolf and they kill the wolf, then Arlen Court is a three, and they have three power, so they can easily kill her. Thank you. Um, this card's just not. I mean, it's great, but like, I think it's also Thank easier to play two cards with the tireless tracker. So I'm gonna actually play a mountain, and we're just gonna play Arlen Court and plus her one here. Thank you. And I'm just going to attack with this guy. Thank you. Because we want to keep our Arlen Court around. Badger, dude. Thank you so much, man. You are classic Badger. <laughs> it's true. You. It's true. It's true. Oh, Thank see? You. This is why we kept our pack, pack Guardian back. Yep, now we just get to witness the endless Thank you. parade of Farbog Flingers. Oh, Dawn Treader, okay. Uh, one, two, three. Tracky boy. Thank you. Play a land. Thank you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you got one, two, three, four. This needs five to like really get its goose though. So we're actually gonna Thank plus you. here. And if you want a triple block, that's just just fine. Oh my god, Badger thank dude, you. thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate you, man. Thank you. Just go to six here? <clears throat> That's wild. Thank you. Man, Arlen Court is hard to deal with. Plus, like, we could we could actually find trading our board than thank creeping you. Renaissance for for four creatures. Ovenwald Mysteries is pretty good. Whenever a non-token creature they control dies, they get a clue. And they can crack a clue to get a 1-1. One, one. <laughs> oh man, I'm still laughing at a little classic badger here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Silver for Partisan. I don't think you do much here, unfortunately. I think we're going to crack a clue first. Because if we get another land, it's just another clue. And then we can clue and partisan. Oh, incendiary flow seems bananas here. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, who are we killing? Probably the flinger. <clears throat> Mm 
this feels like it's game because they have to block all they have to block two of these guys they can't double block anything here oh boy do, 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 do. yep yep seems good you get a clue one clue crack your clue B A N A N A S. Hey, look, Harry says it's Tim Riddle. It's Tom Riddle. Voldemort wind back. Also, it's not Tom Riddle. It's Voldemort. Ah ha ha! Laughed Harry. Classic Tim. <laughs> that was probably funnier than it should have been. Oh man, classic Tim Riddle. I'm actually gonna send that to Katie because she loves. She loves Harry Potter. We actually just watched the first one again recently, like this past week, and we're going to try to go through them all again. It's difficult because J.K. Rowling has revealed herself to be kind of a, uh, you know, thing. Oh, so they're dead. That's cool. I like it when they aren't alive anymore. You know, and they get in the term magic anyway. I don't know what they could have for one, but I'm just gonna just gonna pretend it's nothing. <sighs> Terrible human being? Is that the phrase you're looking for? It was close to that. Yeah, that was. Uh... Oh god, it's gonna kick me out before I can say GGs. All right, nice. Our deck is sweet. And now we're going to play our match. I think our... I think our deck is good. <sighs> I've always wanted a sword. It's all yours, buddy. You've earned it. You've earned it. Our matchmaking failed. It's unfortunate. Oh, I like this hand. Let's keep it. So, I, I'd like to start with the mountain just to keep up bombardment, but eh, maybe I will. Actually, we're on the draw, so it's probably a little more relevant. Yeah, I don't care about that thing, but... So, the reason was, like, we want to be able to play um, Stranger Root Geist on two if we draw it, but I think playing Scorn Vigil, Vigil, Vigil Villager is fine. What's wrong with me, dude? I've been hearing a, It's like I feel like I'm having a hard time talking recently, and I don't know what's going on. Yeah, definitely just killing that guy. Because we're not going to have a block with this guy, so. It's not the most exciting card to kill, but it's also not the most exciting removal spell, so. That's fine. Let's draw a four drop. That'd be sweet. I like a good four drop. Oh, 
Okay. Sure. Well, <clears throat> now you're just helping my Kessig Cage Breakers. And I'm just going to kill this guy. If they want to exile it this turn, that's totally fine. But we don't have anything to play next turn, so I kind of want to minimize the number of the amount of damage I have. Thraben Doomsayer. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> okay. On this day in 1648, Treaty of Westphalia ends the Thirty Years' War in the Holy Roman Empire. Switzerland independence recognized. That's... Badger, your facts are one of my favorite things. <laughs> They're actually pretty sweet, man. I'm like, oh shit, I'm learning cool stuff. I'm streaming and I'm the one learning cool stuff? I feel like I should be teaching you guys. Well, they have one card, so that's okay. Next turn we can kill this guy, so they just get two 1-1s one out of it. They have two cards. Maybe they can't kill this guy. dead inside. Yeah. Actually, I kind of like Renaissance for instant here. If we're spending six mana anyway, one, two, three, four, five. It's a permanent type. I'm an idiot. Not a card type. We'll name creature. Okay, well, that's our. I think we're dead. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we're just going to concede. That actually cost us the game, I think. Well, if we take four, five, six, seven anyway, we go to three. So we're not, like, super close, but, like,. It's not ideal. I just placed first, my first dude. Nice. I like it. This seems like a Rolling Templar matchup. For sure. Um, and we're going to try not to care about too many of our own guys here. You can take out Dark... Eh, I don't want to take out two drops, but... I'll take out the Creeping Renaissance, actually. This also feels like a deadweight matchup. You can just submit it. <laughs> also, in 1986, Drake, Canadian actor and rapper, was born in Toronto, Ontario. Drake's a little bit on the weird list, too. If you really... If you're asking me. If we can draw black, this is actually a pretty ridiculous curve. Alright, well this is actually a pretty aggressive start, and we can kill whatever they play next turn. Swing for four. They didn't play anything. Hmm. 
mean, we can we can crack Dawn Shredder out because I both flip this guy next turn or cast Olivia, which is pretty decent. Desperate Sentry. I mean, we have mana. I'm kind of just going to incendiary flow that thing to get rid of it forever. And then attack from the four, I think. Actually, this dude's pretty bananas, but... We can just play it next turn. Man, incendiary flow doing work with all these graveyard shenanigans. Okay. I mean, we're just going to play this, even though I have a weird feeling that it's not going to... Like, they're just going to have Faith Unbroken, and you're going to get rid of it, and then we're just going to have to deal with 5-5. Five, five. But... What can you do? Moan. Okay. Hey, that's pretty good. Hmm. Yeah. Can't be blocked by more than one creature? Oh, that's what we're doing this turn, that's for sure. Now we just have an abyss. And this flips? Yeah. Now we're talking. No? You just took four. You went to six. So even to get rid of this, you're going to four? Huh. Plus we have fires, which deals two to any target. Weird. So basically they're dead, right? Like we could do, we can go fires, crack this for a black fires again in the next two turns. If you buy the Frank flag from the bear skin, Frank skin points goal goes up. That makes sense. Scarecrow. You got it. That does not seem like it was worth two life. N neither does that. Okay. So they literally can't cast another spell. Oh, well, I can just pat I can just fires them, right? Oh, what up, Danny? Would rather a bear skin. <laughs> I bet you would, Badger. I bet you would. I'm just going to submit. I think our deck is sweet. Um, yeah, this is keepable. Oof, Arlen Cord seems good. How do you flip her? Negative three, right? Okay. Kessie, boys. I would love a two or a three drop next turn. That would be great. Wish Twitch would tell me to go live. Me too, man. Me too. I feel like that benefits me as well. I'm just going to take one here. Oh, dear. Hmm. Hmm. Two drop. Hey, we did it. It's actually pretty good.
I still want to land next turn because I don't want to have to A, rely on this guy, or B, not hit five drops. So, Plus, if we hit a land, we can play Wolf and keep up Bombardment, or we can play Arlen and keep up Bombardment. So, I mean, if it's a red. Interesting. And I'm just taking one here. I'm not going to trade this guy for... Hopefully they have nothing to play. That would be fantastic. They do. I mean, I don't want to wait for them to flip that. Because then, like, we just might not have mana up at the time. Um... This does give trample, so like that's fine. And their their board is a one one, so let's make a wolf and flip the Arlen. Let's see what happens. Not attacking. I mean, they could go kill, kill, equip, but like that's a lot of mana. And they'd also have to have two out of three cards in their hand. Have to be removal spells. Oh my god! Can you see the flag bearer when it's got my flag on it? Because it should have Hunter's face on it. Oh, we're just going straight into combat. I mean, we're definitely blocking with the wolf. Oh, they didn't do anything. They played a land. Now they're playing a spell. Oh, they're just equipping this guy. Fascinating. Oh, that's that's not. Oh, that's not good for anybody. So basically what you're saying is I get to play Geist Catcher's Rig, kill their spirit. And that's pretty cool. Oh, what up, Jimmy the Mole? How's Innistrad? It's pretty good. We're 1 0. We're in game 3. Okay. That's fine. I mean, unless you have a haste creature here, I'm not too worried about that. Then we make another wolf. Where's Mike? I never see him. Mike is, Mike is at work. Mike works every day from like 6 to 6. So. Interesting. Better tap it now. Forever hold your pizza. Uh, Credit Wolf, right? Or, it doesn't give haste, right? Just plus vigilance. Oh, it does give, it does give haste. Every day, I'm so proud. I don't even know what this clip is. Do you, when you wake up in the morning, are you like, man, I'm really, I'm proud of what I accomplished to, yeah, the, the day before, or does it just, uh... Every day. Every day what? Every day, I'm so proud. <laughs> oh, God, why? Wow, this clip was amazing. Every day. I'm so proud. Um, hmm. 
I'm almost tempted to Temblor, like, it's a two for two, but it's not really a two for two. And, like, they don't start getting lifelink with this. Actually, Cultist seems even better, because then we get to sack this. Oh, what up, Mitch? Good seeing you, buddy. Yeah, we'll play Cultist. Mega Wolf. Do we attack? Yeah, that's fine. The thing is, they have to get rid of both of these guys, and they have two two cards in hand. If they get rid of this, I'm still happy blocking here because I think this is more valuable. I think Ar Arlen is more valuable than than Skurzdeg. Yep, that's what I figured they'd do. So they're going to gain six here, but it's probably the turn. <laughs> Alright, so they did have one removal and a th and three mana left over for the Butcher's Cleaver. Yep. Seems fine. Oh, and now they can't tap this guy either, so we actually get to play Cage Breakers. That's pretty good. Oh, and we get to give it haste too? Oh, wow. No, we don't. Just trample. Dang. Creatures you control. Um. That would have been so good, dude. What would that have been? That would have been like 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Like that almost would have been lethal. Oh boy. Is there a link to streamers? Yeah, just use the command battle. That should that should hit you. Oh what up BCZ? Or is it Bizarre? Okay, this guy just flipped Oh they have one card in hand. This is why they're not doing anything. They're like, no, oh, just tap it. I'm like, oh, okay. Okay, if you'd like to do that. Yeah, we're just gonna attack here for a million. Four. This is like 12 damage, then we get the lightning bolt them. This is lethal, right? Three wolves? Yeah, that's gonna be... That's gonna do... That's gonna do the job. Okay. Okay. How's our how's our raid looking? Seven minutes? Hmm. I guess we'll just play the match. Eh. Alright, let's play this final round. Guys, are we going to trophy for the first time ever in this format? The first time ever! Oh, this hand seems fine. If we can hit, like, land, land, he said. He said with, with a na naive optimism. All we have to do is hit two lands, guys. I don't care about those rats, really. I actually... Yeah, not bad. Oof. God, if they play this next turn, we can discard incorrigibly. Oh, when it dies. Oh, I like that.
Ooh, maybe we can engineer it so that we get a free encourageable youths in play. Of course, they have an enchantment that kills it. Ha ha ha. Why not? Ha ha ha. And of course, we don't hit a fourth land. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. I am having a good time. You can go to the shop, you can buy bones, and you can use the bones to buy chests. Bones and chests and bones and chests and bones and chests. Wow, look at all these things you're doing. Okay, you got it. Oh boy, we did it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yep, cool. <laughs> oh boy. Seems good. It's insane. Like, no matter what we do, like, we can plus Arlen, they just kill it with Soren. Wow, that sucks. It's also turn six. Like, We have two things we can do here. One of these, or one of these. I mean, we're doing that because if they want to alpha next turn and they don't have a creature, like, we can incorrigible use, but I'm pretty sure we're just losing to Soren, so. Uh, I think the only things that buy me, uh, that help me if you guys buy them are, like, the skins. I mean, I can't really complain because I have Arlen, but I'm pretty sure Soren is a significantly stronger Planeswalker than Arlen. If I had another land, that's funny, I could play Stranger Guys, force them to block here, and uh, get Incorrigible used for free, which actually might give us a, a shot at not dying. Sadly, I have to do streaming for my tablet and watch you on PC. Not ideal, but it gets the job done, Danny. I appreciate it. So if we block three, she still dies, yeah. So I'm just no, not blocking any of these guys. Hmm, boy. Yep. Yeah, I'm just going to concede there.
Definitely seems like a rolling Templar match. Um, you know what? I'll give it a shot. Rolling Templar could be fantastic here. So could lands, though, so, you know. We just really need to hit land, land now. Okay, the game they don't play anything, and the game we don't hit lands. Love it. Love it. Straight love it. Okay, 2-3. Flyer? Sounds good. It's going well. just took it. Okay. got protection from white would you look at that I remember putting lands in my deck but I've missed three land drops now maybe they'll just play Soren like they do every single game man having Soren and enough lands to play him must be a fucking real amazing feat like, I don't even know how you do it. Like, that seems just wild to me, man. Good lord, that's that's a good deal, man. Six mana every game. Jesus. Can you imagine? Now shoot this thing. Kill all my rares. Kill all my rares with your one planeswalker that you draw each game. Kill them all. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons if you guys are enjoying the content. It's a great way to support the channel. And uh, you can also check out manatraders.com. They have an amazing subscription service for Magic Online. You get 15% off the first three months of any subscription. And I also remove the mana hours. So you don't have to worry about time. Uh, have you thought about putting Soren and Lands in your deck? I've considered it. I've considered it. Also, if you guys are looking for a VPN, which is a virtual private network for your PC, a great way to protect your internet history and your browsing habits, uh, you can check out nordvpn.org slash franklapore. It's a great way to support the channel. You will get 68% off a two-year subscription along with one free month, which is a pretty sweet deal. All those links are down below in the description, so be sure to check them out if you guys want to support the channel. Oh, boy. This is not, not great. Not great. Make a wolf, I guess. So now they can attack for two and shoot for one. So that's another, just another card they're able to kill. That's pretty good. 
Are those lands you speak of even a real thing? I wouldn't. I don't. I don't really have a way to know. Stop. They're so loud sometimes. Oh, they just plus for a collective effort. Seems good. Ah, oh, black cat. Plus the board. Yep, seems nice. Sometimes they never don't have it. Yep, alright, cool. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.